Brent, get up. You're going to be late for school. Can I not go to school today? I'm like super sick. I don't care. Get up. Get in the car. Oh, oh, mom, I'm sick. Mom? Mom? I'm sick. What do you want me to do about it? Go to school. Don't go to school. I don't care. Uh, mom, I don't feel so good. My baby, what's wrong? My stomach kind of hurts. Okay, you are not going to school today. I'm going to make you some soup, okay? Okay. Hid under the bed and did this. Shamil from how long? I don't care. Yes. What you want to fight Shamil for? That they told me they was hiring, they got the best pay rates, and a Dusano bonus at the end of the year bonuses. Okay, what's the problem? When I went up there, I didn't get the job. So you're not old enough to work at how long? I don't care. Or be nobody care again. You can't take care of yourself. Don't I take care of you, though? So you do what I tell you to do. You don't take care of me. Uh, who got up to make you some toast last night? You got up to make me some toast because I was hungry and I told you to do it. I ain't feel like doing it. That don't mean you're my caregiver. What are you talking about, Sean? Not fight nobody. Alright, if you don't take me up there, I'm just gonna come catch the bus. So you never even been on the bus, okay? If you don't ride the bus, there's a bus right there. Go get on it. Well, that. Exactly. Wait, it got hollow hook on the side of it? Oh yeah, I'm not even on the bus driver. So don't get your ass back in here from the bus driver. Miss Murphy, your shoe untied. Class, I understand that it is hot. Okay, but until we can demonstrate a single file line, we will remain here. Oh my God, can you guys please be quiet? Girl, shut up and turn around smelling like a filter fish. Straight out the ocean. Tanisha and Alejandro, you may go inside and get water. Miss Murphy, I'm being quiet. I, I, I know. Oh look, here's a class that's demonstrating a single file quiet line. Miss Green, maybe we can stop by your class sometime so you can, your guys can show fifth grade how to walk in a line. Hmm. Bitch, don't bring them to my class. Oh my God, Miss Murphy, it's hot and I can't breathe in this mask. Y'all need to shut the hell up. K.O. language, or we can come on. Mm -hmm. We can come on. Okay, question number six, Ava. Oh my God, I just answered number three. I'm not, no. May I use the bathroom? No, you should have gone during your lunchtime. Olivia, number six, what did you get? I didn't raise my hand. It doesn't matter if you raised your hand. What's the answer to number six? Olivia! I don't know, I don't know. I don't know is not an answer. Why are you always picking me? Can you pick someone else already, Mrs. Johnson? There's 29 students in this class and you're always picking me. That's because you never pay attention and I'm still waiting for an answer. I hate this class. Why am I in this class? I don't want to be here. Why did I get put in this class? Oh my God. Oh, well you can go to the office since you don't want to be here. How about that? Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> I love your new place. How much is it, huh? <laughs> you could have moved home with me, no? No. You have a balcony. You don't have a balcony out of the balcony. She's going to fall. <laughs> Look. It's not sturdy for a baby. <laughs> I, made a, I made a bed by myself. Why would you do that? I have a bed for you, no? I want to be. He can't stop laughing. <laughs>
Have you ever tried making a chicken and veggie one pan meal? No, but one time my dad planned on marrying this really evil woman. She was literally Corella Deville, and my sister and I hated her so much that we put Nair in her shampoo bottle, and then she was bald. Bald, ugly, and mean. She was still Cruella DeVille, but hairless. I don't know why, but my dad still liked her. One day, he decided that we would take a family hot air balloon ride. And my sister and I made plans on how we would accidentally shove her off the top. It's safe to say that my dad is no longer with this woman. Because my sister and I took the wind that night. Wow. She took the wind. Thank you for asking. Um, can I get a hamburger and 10 piece chicken nugget? No, only salad. Oh, you say you need a salad. <laughs> Let me speak to the manager. Are you the manager? Mm -hmm. You the manager? Yeah. He said I need a salad. What? Do you think I need a salad? Yeah. <laughs> Here you are. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Hey, Demarcus. What's up? Hey, can you do me a favor and just make sure you clean up after oh. yourself? We've been having a fruit fly problem okay, going around. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, you're just fine. Yeah, I'll make sure I do better now. No, you've been doing great. Okay. You've been doing really good. Thank you. No sense. Hello? Hey, tell me why I'm beefing with my coworker now. Because he gonna come up to me telling me, oh, you need to make sure you clean it up after yourself because you have a habit of leaving things around. Exactly. I looked at him and told him, don't be talking to me like I'm some blood child or something. You don't want these problems. Exactly. Exactly. I've been sitting here for three damn hours. What the hell are they doing in there? All right, do you have your resume with you? Yes, of course. Um, there's nothing written on here, ma'am. Oh, I forgot. Can you just pretend there was something on there? No, well, let's start with tell me about yourself. No. Excuse me? Um, I have black hair and I was born at a really young age. I live in Earth, I love food, and... Okay, next question, why should we hire you? I don't know, cause why not? <laughs> Are you guys not hiring? How did you find out about us? Is this job supposed to be a secret? <laughs> next question, what if you saw someone stealing? Um, I'm not business, I'm not security. <laughs> All right, we are finished, do you have any questions? Am I getting the damn job? I need money. <laughs> no, because of your attitude and the answer you gave me. So where we make bizarre meals or we prepare them in a strange or different way. So today we're going to be doing a side and it is mashed potatoes. Now I bet you're saying, Zoe, mashed potatoes, how can you make mashed potatoes in a bizarre or strange way? I am glad you asked. All you're going to need is two bags of plain classic Lay's chips and a big pot. Let's get to cooking. So basically what you want to do is if you're having company come over, you would use two bags, but since it's just me and I'm by myself, I'm just gonna use one. Yeah, I know that's kind of stupid why we just not use that bag instead of this bag, but oh well, let's see how it turns out. So I have my water and it's starting to get hot and boiled. So what we're gonna do is take this, open the bag, and you're going to pour it into the water. Now mind you, a lot of people, when they do instant mashed potatoes or whatever the case may be, they don't like the chalky taste. So this is going to get rid of the chalky taste. What we're going to do is just going to keep stirring. And you want to stir until the water starts to bubble. That is what you want, is you want the water to bubble. Hold on, y'all. I know y'all like, though, get to the point. No, this wouldn't be what's next in the kitchen with Zoe if I didn't do my infamous oh. <laughs> twerk and stir, twerk and stir. Uh, it gives it that good old down into the food. You know how some of y'all, we don't like to peel potatoes. It's like a process and sometimes you get cut. This is another way where you don't have to worry about getting cut, peeling potatoes. And it's actually a faster way. Hello. 
Who don't like faster? Instant potato. Period. Okay, so you see this bubble? This is the type of bubble you want to know that it's, you know, almost done. So I'm gonna do it like maybe two more minutes and I'm gonna take it out and then we're gonna drain it. I wish I could show y'all it draining, but I don't have any help. So I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, my God. Get him. Wait a minute. <laughs> Come on, girl. Drain, honey. Come on, don't be that girl. Drain. Well, you so disrespectful. Okay, hold on, y'all. I need a different drainer. Ah! 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 I ain't got the right drainer. Come on. Come on, mashed potato. Oh, it look like mashed potatoes. All right, y'all, and this is what it looks like. Oh, shit, son of a bitch. This water's hot. I could have let it cook and start a little bit longer. Look at that. It looks like mashed potatoes. Like, I could have let it go a little bit longer, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so now you would put like, she did a little bit of garlic powder. I don't know what that's gonna make it taste like. I do a little bit, cause I don't really do garlic like that. And then you do your pepper. That's your pepper, you know, black folks, we love some pepper, honey. You're gonna put two caps of, you know, I like to measure. She said two caps of milk. If you're lactose, you can use almond milk or whatever the case may be. Black folks, we usually don't measure. We just pour it in until it look good. And then you mix it up. And you put your stick of butter. Some people don't like butter, but I like butter, honey. Um, should I put a lot? Is this a lot? I don't think this is a lot. Maybe I should cut it a little bit, right? Put a little half. Always you can go less and add more, right? Okay, so then you put the butter in. Y'all, I am amazed that this looks like mashed potato. You're about to gag. All right, and there you have it. Your mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm about to eat these and see what it tastes like. Okay, I'm super excited. Let's see. It's actually not bad. I just need a little, I do need some more salt, some more pepper, and, um, it tastes like mashed potatoes. Um, I promise you, it's not bad. It This can be mashed potatoes. I think um, if I would have added another bag, it would have been thicker. Um, but it's not bad. Yeah, this is mashed potatoes. I hope y'all enjoyed it. See you next time on What's Next in the Kitchen with Zoe. Okay, best friend, this is just a few more things that would set me off. If you get a new shirt, pants, or shoes and don't tell me, that's going to set me off because that's new addition to my wardrobe too. You wear it to the club and I wear it to a brunch. Excuse me, can I get a mimosas please? Ooh, okay. If you don't introduce me as your best friend, that's going to set me off. Why would you even fix your mouth to say, hey y'all, this is my friend? Girl, no. We've been in this since third grade. If you're going to call me your friend, you better put best in front of it. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. If you're unlucky enough to break up and you don't give that pound cake to at least five dudes in the first week, that's going to set me off. Yes, I understand that it is your fupa. But, girl, we about to get stupider. Girl, bitch. Five? And that's just the first week. Best friend. <laughs>